Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my February favorites. I cannot believe February is over, but February is super, super short, so it's not a surprise. <laughs> but I don't have too many items to share, and that's great because the sun is setting and I want it to be able to film this video today. So let's quickly get through all my items. If you wanna see what I loved in February, please keep watching. So let's start with fragrance because this month in Atlanta, as you can see today, it got really, really hot. So I believe last month it snowed, I think. This month, today it was like 80 degrees. Like, I can't deal. Like, I'm already melting. I really hate the summer. And clearly in Atlanta, we don't get a spring. It just goes from being 40 degrees to 80. So that's awesome or not. So I've really been enjoying fragrance because spring fragrance is some of my favorite because I love a light, sexy, or just sporty, just nice, so my first one is so near and dear to my heart and this is B Balenciaga or Balenciaga B this is what it looks like this smells so good one of my co-workers he got it it almost smells like um, Dolce and Gabbana light blue wherein it's kind of like citrusy and spicy but it's a little it's a little more unique than that, and it smells like it has some type of white tea and ginger in it. It just smells so fresh yet sexy. It's very light, so you do have to spray quite a bit. I've used the majority of that in the past couple of weeks, uh, but I've really, really been enjoying this fragrance. If you like lighter, citrusy, almost a little spicy, but a little unique, those type of scents, I think you would definitely like this, and I purchased this from Sephora. Aura. and oh I love it it is very light and it doesn't wear too too well on me I mean people can smell it on me but I can't smell it so I do have a roller ball that I keep at my job just to kind of roll on anytime I'm feeling like I need a little bit of extra but love Balenciaga B and then my second favorite this month has been bond number nine Madison Square Park yes Madison Square Park this to me smells just like Chanel Chance in the pink liquid. It's very, it almost smells like a peachy floral. It's a light scent. It's not too, too unique, but I like it because some days I want people to go, ooh, what do you have on? And other days when I'm not feeling people, I just want to smell like, oh, that smells nice. Like I don't want people to have to talk to me and ask me what I'm wearing. That probably sounds crazy, but that's honestly, how it is i do my sense according to my mood so that's all for fragrance now let's move into makeup my first favorite is none other than my nars all day luminous this past month i tried out the bobby brown long wear skin foundation hated it check out my review i will link that down below i went back to my nars i love it i actually have a new way of applying it so i'll be doing an updated foundation routine soon and in that same category i've been loving this nars blush this is the liquid blush in dolce vita so pretty looks effortless i don't have it on today but it's everything the blush that I actually have on today, which you probably can't see because it's the end of the day and I've been out. This is Becca Snapdragon. This is probably one of my favorite blushes just because it's so pretty. It gives you the right amount of sheen without being overboard. And I think the color is flattering on everybody. I have one more makeup item. And that is, oh, I don't see it. <laughs> it's my Kat Von D. L-U-V liquid lipstick. I have it on today. I think this is the perfect purple for this time of year. It just brightens up my face. I wear it with minimal makeup and a high bun and it just gives me, yes, like <laughs> this lipstick is everything. I love it. So those are all the makeup items I have. Now let's get into miscellaneous because that's what the rest of this is. I didn't feel like I had anything that I love this month. I also didn't finish my book this month. I need to get on it. <laughs> but my first favorite, um, is this Louis Vuitton Neverfull Pochette, which I recently acquired. I got this from the Louis Vuitton Addicted Something Facebook. I will link it down below. Um, this has the red 
interior. I love this little pouch. It's perfect for going to the nail salon. It's perfect for running errands on your lunch break because I tend to carry a large bag, which I will show you. But this is just everything. This pouch is just so amazing. So I decided to buy it separate from the Neverfull because I just don't know how I feel about spending that much money on a canvas open tote, although I do want it. So I'll probably get it later on. But right now I was like, this is perfect. And I found one for a great price and in great condition. It's basically new and this is everything. So if you've been contemplating on getting this on the pre-loved market, it's totally worth it. No, it can't hold a lot, but I usually keep my phone, a lip item, and my keys, and my cards, because that's all I need if I'm just quickly running somewhere. Gotta love it. And in that same category, the bag that I've been loving this month is my Louis Vuitton Tivoli GM, which is so full and heavy right now. Uh, but this is a discontinued style bag, but I love it because it puts me in the mind of a Speedy, but like a better version, not so basic. Not to say that a Speedy is a basic bag, but this is a little more jazzed up. But I love this bag, it's the Tivoli. I have not worn it in quite some time, so I figured let me bring this baby out and I have really thoroughly been enjoying it, especially because it opens so wide, unlike the Speedy. Another thing I've been loving this month is this pouch from Sephora. I'm not sure if I, I think I showed this in like a what's in my bag, but I love this to keep in my larger bags. Um, aside from my toiletry, my Louis Vuitton toiletry. I don't like keeping that day to day, but I love this because you can see through it, but at the bottom it's not see through and I keep all my essentials in there. Love that. And then the last item that's kind of odd is my vitamin D. You guys know I talked about in a previous video that I have a vitamin D deficiency. I have noticed tremendous differences since starting taking my vitamin D. My joints don't ache, my hip doesn't hurt, my hair feels better hydrated, I just feel better. So I'm so happy that I finally got on that. And the last thing I wanna talk about are these Coca-Cola sodas. I believe they're diet sodas. So they come in the new tall slim cans. I love the black cherry and I love the blood orange. Like those are so good. If you guys have not tried those, please go try them. I got mine from Kroger, but I believe you can find them at most grocery stores, definitely a Target. They're so cute. I mean, I'm a slave to anything that is like new marketing, new packaging. If it's decent, I'll probably probably buy it and I'm a sucker for that type of stuff and I love it so oh wait no my last favorite is 911 I believe you guys told me about that last month or did I talk about it last month I can't remember but I love the series 911 actually I think I did talk about it last month but I'm still loving it I need to catch up on this is us because I didn't finish the first season and I haven't seen the second so I probably will go do that later on tonight but thank you guys so much for watching this quick favorites not much I had to share with you because I didn't really love a lot this month but it wasn't because there wasn't a lot of good things it's just because Maybe I just worked this month and had no playtime. I don't know. But if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.